Hey everyone, we are back with more. Of course, it could also be this mountain. That's kind of like an island. I'll walk around it and check. Ah, there's an airship there. Fucking airships. Why is there a Mangekyo sharing in fish in the uh, symbol in the in the water? Okay, but yes, we're back with more battle chases here. He's gonna love that. Uh, Ice Elementals love fire. Oops, no, I'm using it on the other person. Shit. I was supposed to go on Garrison. Oh well, now we're, at least both of us are bleeding twice. Feel for you, Nolan. That actually hurt. Oh, here's the way station. Okay. Let's go to this one. And the area I want to explore, I think, is just to the south. May also be to the north there. But this gray area we're coming up to here seems islandy within. So we're gonna fight this. Oh, lost soul. Hey there. Oh, it gets attack up when you hit it. Good. Alright. At least it doesn't get attack up from the dot damage. So. Okay, that kind of sucked. We're gonna get. He, 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 he likes the AoE attacks. Alright. Oh, damn, that actually didn't kill him. Okay. I actually should have. Um, fuck. I should have fucked. I should have used the uh, arcane uh, missile on him to dispel him. Okay, now he's doing even more damage. Great. Wave complete. All right, so the Lost Souls, don't like those guys. Maybe they'll get a little bit of damage in there. Mm. 
Oh, 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 she cougar. So this should just outright kill, uh, the blood elemental. Told you. He raises his defense. I sunder that defense. That's actually a decent amount of EXP. Hmm, that wasn't it. I thought it might be. But it wasn't. Alright, the next idea I have for that treasure map is up here. Back up the way we came, but we're going to head out to the left. To that small island on the map. To the north. Uh, we can't get to the island, but perhaps the path it just wants me to be on the empty path leading to it. Try killing this elemental. Oh, I see it. Never mind. It's way over there. Hang on. I think I know where it is. We might be able to get over there. We might also be blocked off from there for now. Vampire bat. Do these count as killing vampires? I spent a lot of time just running around looking for stuff in this game. Pretty great. He's gonna die from this, so yeah, down he goes. Damn it, there's so much shit in the way. I just want to get over there. I don't want to fight 80,000 things. Oh, this is a greater ice elemental. You got double bleeding from that one hit. Oh, we're all chilled. Great. And down he goes. Okay. We have won the battle easily. Yeah, we we're gonna get a level before I even get to, some, to explore anywhere new, because... Got another elemental. What is this one? This one's a mana elemental. Okay. Alright, we'll start off with our usual tactics here. We're gonna lower his defense. And make him bleed. I'm glad all three of my characters got to go before he did, though, because he's going to take uh, more damage from the dots. Ah, oh, damn. I can't stop that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Ow! That actually legit hurt. And now you're dead.
Yeah, we got like one or two fights left in garrison level, and the other two probably will as well. And look at that, there's a lich right there. Which means we could get a level and then another uh, tome, which is, is another uh, bit of um, damage. Okay, we got three liches. Okay, this is going to be a difficult fight. I actually think we should take out that first. Can't afford to be chilled. Well, he killed his buddy. Holy shit. And Garrison somehow survived. He won't hear, probably. Yeah. Thought so. you heal garrison I'll have you gut punch this dude in preparation for garrison he's just gonna heal up what he's done that's fine as garrison is now ready Yeah, he wasn't living through that. Yeah, so that was a scary fight just because how tough those guys are, but they ended up damaging themselves. And we all leveled up and we get two perk points. Look at that. We got Lich's Favor. I got Flactory. Not really better. Dark robes that bestow power on the on uh, on the wear at a cost. Has a ten percent chance on hit to increase attack power by 982, but Nolan also takes 164 piercing damage each time. Uh, let's get the treasure first, and then we'll check our perk points. Just as uh, the treasure I described, you notice a spot where the frost is yet to claim the soil. You decide to dig up what it is there. I got a crumpled and torn map. What? Found in the far northern reaches, this map describes something being buried in the trail encompassed by three tiny lakes. Okay, well it's right over right down there. Okay, I know where that one is, I think. Okay, I guess we're going on a treasure hunt today, guys. We killed everything along the way, so it's not like it's gonna take that much longer to get over there. Alright, so we got 10 points with you. Uh, is there anything that we don't need? Honestly, I, I think we everything we have, we need. Alright, so I'll put Fortify on him for now. Garrison, you're at 103 points. Technically, we can take that off and get 7 points. That takes us up to 9.
four, seven. I can only get up to 15 so far, if I even if I remove that, so to get that. We're not quite there yet. But if this treasure map leads to a, a greater skill book, get the fuck out of here, airship. I do not want to fight you. Then perhaps, perhaps, there was a bat here that I didn't kill before, but... Two ice bats isn't too bad. Wanted to make sure he spit on everyone, apparently. Then he goes. Alright, we're kicking lots of ass today, at least. Okay, so let's see what's in this treasure map, shall we? I knew it. As the map describes, you notice a slightly worn patch is off the main one. At its end, you notice a spot covered in loose pine and leaves and branches. Something lies just beneath. A splendid pistol handles. Crumpled, torn, and stomped note. Found in the not so far north, this note details how thieves tried to hide part of their pistols to end all pistols, but it was eaten by a fish near their favorite watering hole. But that would be over by the fishmonger area, wouldn't it? Alright, well, we'll finish looking for that in a bit. I think that's uh, a legendary weapon for Red Monica, though. I think that's what it's leading us to. Either way, let's go explore that one building we saw, and then uh, continue on with the game. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't like the airships. There's another one! The fuck? Alright, what's this? Pale Cathedral. Oh, hey there. Vampire Ghoul. So these guys got a lot of hit points. Oh wait, maybe not. He's dead. Okay, normally they I thought they had a lot of hit points, but I guess not. Oops. A symbol of hope and protection. The shield went missing after Argaeus died, though his body was interred in the red grave. The bulwark was not only a symbol for the people, it was literally hallowed. Enchanted by a powerful mage, the shield could repel corruption from vile essences, even drawing from their power to strengthen itself. A blood demon known as the Hunger sought to find Argaeus' bul bul bulwark so that he could destroy it, or failing that, hide it. He gave it to a planeswalker who last seen traveling uh, the road between the Siege Coast and Harm's Way. 
The motivation for the hunger to hide the shield is unknown, and he quickly disappeared after the final defeat of Varus. Uh, this wick on the ceremonial candle looks oddly thick and coated with some strange protected material. Let's light it. The candle flickers on for a brief moment before fading out. The fire lives and sears through the protected material and lights the candle. You watch his flame dance, almost hypnotically gentle, for a few moments before turning away. This looks like a prayer or ritual book. Whenever your hand moves near it, runes on the book's spine glow. A nearby uh, scroll indicates that some sort of incantation that needs to be read when the in when the incense burns. Try as you might. All right, well. With the incense burning, you are eas able to easily open the book. Once open, you copy relevant parts of it you find useful. I got a greater tome of knowledge and another treasure map. Excellent. All right. And where is this one? Dead trees between the mountains. Okay. Sure. These gauntlets of legend were crafted from draconic components, only to be finished uh, only by the finest smiths of an age long past. To repeat the process, one would need two components nearly impossible to find today: a dragon skin and the heart of a dragon. Considering the beasts haven't been seen for centuries, finding these would be tricky indeed. Still, a few of the ingredients are rumored to exist on, in the world today. Merchants long spoke of a dragon skin somewhere in the far north, sealed under lock and key. Finding it would be instant fame and fortune for any trader. And the dragon heart was held by an ancient magus named Belveros, who used the power of the heart to fuel his necromancy. He was entombed in Deadwatch after his death, taking the heart with him to his grave. Alright, so this is like stories on how to make uh, each character's legendary weapon, I'm guessing. So if I do end up swapping to Gully, I should pay attention to these. Oh shit, there's another ghoul. Oh, I've killed enough of them that I can see their HP. How much damage is he gonna do with this feast? None, he's dead. Fuck you, ghoul. Honestly, that's not too bad uh, on killing them. Plus, I get credit towards uh, this. Okay, so we got defeat 100 enemies in the mana rift, so that's gonna be not too bad. I gotta kill three more liches, also not too bad. 10 more assassins, two more Rahas targets. Four more treasure elementals and six, uh, tw 16 vampires. So, you know, it's it's counting towards it. Oh, I also got one in the Crimson Mire or Crimson Gardens, right? Yeah, so we gotta kill a lot more there, but that'll be cool as well. All right, what we got in here? Crafted during the ancient war, this mighty weapon was captured and disassembled to, uh, to prevent further use. Parts of the cannon were used to construct a war golem, rumored for use by airship pirates. The energy cell was placed in an experimental duo of tanks used by bandits in the siege coast. Finally, the mineral used to stabilize its output is no longer manufactured. Only a fate stone from the mana rifts can be used as a re uh, replacement. Oh, okay, so we have some of those items. A red, dusty book on the shelf catches your eye. What do you do? Pull it. Yay, treasure! Everyone loves treasure. These pistols were commissioned by a bandit leader in Junktown, who intended to use them as a means for solidifying his control over various bandit factions. Before they could be completed, the gunsmith designing them was found dead, likely assassinated. Recently, an effort was made by Black Market Group to finish and sell the pistols, known as the Salvage Runners. They managed to gather most of the parts before infighting tore the group apart. The last known person to... Uh, the components wrote to associate saying he was lost in an endless maze of hedges and freezing his plums off. 
Okay, well, we did find his note, and that led to a piece of them, I think. Not much has been recorded about the history of this weapon, save for an extreme power which it draws from an unknown source. The blade is long missing, presumed stolen or destroyed. Infusing a special attuned blade with the spirit of powerful warriors is said to awaken the cursed blade, summoning its power. One such star spirit was a champion arena fighter who defeated all challenges in Mortal Kombat. Another was seen wandering the roads near the southern wilds, being trapped or tricked at a gate he could not traverse. Okay, so we, we found at least one part of that. Uh, they were in the um, arena. We haven't actually completed that, that arena step, but... Winking Ring and Soul Forged Casing. Alright, alright. Calibretto. You lose some attack power, some haste, some evasion, not much of each, but you gain so much out of it. Armor farge, farge, forged with the souls of the fallen. Didn't I get a ring or something as well? I did. Something must have lost an eye, which is now embedded in this ring and winking repeatedly. Okay, well that's got to be useful for something, right? If it's a single eye, does it count as winking or blinking? Like, people who lose a single eye, are they, uh, are they always winking at you when they blink? If so, that's rude. Kidding. Diggersby. Got away. Alright, so there's probably gonna be another vampire ghoul somewhere around here. Why not? Resting at the top of the stairs is a mysterious pool of thick red liquid that appears to be blood. It laps and swirls gently, moved by some unknown force. In its center rests a vessel, intact and pristine, save for the blood stains at the base of it. Take the vessel. Dip the empty of, uh, in the blood fountain at the Crimson Gardens. Return with three ancient vampire fangs. Okay. We can do that later. For now, I'm wanting to go to the next area and explore. Oh, shit. All right, so we got two more ghouls and a bunch of uh, cool little lore bits about the weapon, uh, legendary weapons in this game. Okay. Hmm. Guess I'll take out the ice elemental first. Man, that sucks. Ice prison. Oh, he's stunned. Great. I love that for him. Alright, he's gonna die. And down he goes. Look at that! It was beautiful. Did I use that book I got? I did. Speaking of which, perks. Got four, that'll take me up to eight. Ten. Not quite. He's got seven, but I don't think there's anything I particularly want. I'll just put the points into this for now and we'll 
call that even for now. Uh, he only has 11, so... Wait, was that something? I didn't even see that. It was hidden by the tip of the mountain. Alright, so this says dead trees between the mountains was one of the, uh... One of them, so I suspect... That was where the maze was. Alright, well let's finish these guys off quick. He's probably going to die to uh, that, so I'm just going to have him heal himself. There you go. Okay. And I'll Warblade. Here we go, guys. Oh, hang on. Let's pick up that item. Our story can continue momentarily in the next video.